Hello guys, I'm here today showing off the Monus uh, content pack for Flans Mod. And I just have all the vehicles lined out here so you can see them, and they're pretty well done. All the models, they're way better than what Flan like, did for his. But then again, Flan is busy writing code and stuff, right? So, we wouldn't have time to make all these cool models. But they have a very wide selection of stuff. It's been, and I'm not sure if it all flies the same, so I've yet to get in all of it. But it's all really cool. Like, you've got all the World War II fighters and stuff. There's the civilian planes. And then there's the sci-fi stuff, like the TIE fighters and whatever that thing is. And now if we can just screw this thing, because no one likes it. Hop into this. Got me some fuel. Hop into this baby. Which is awesome, this hovercraft. Let's fly back this way. <laughs> Foolish dogs, follow me now. Faster, faster, but not too fast. Alright, so now here's the vehicles, which are also really cool. Because if I get into one of them, I guess I could do that, yeah, if I get into one of them. You can see that they also did the interior of the tanks, which is really nice. Just land, and get out. Yay. If I get into this guy, and get rid of this view, you can see I hopped into the tank, which is really cool, and well done. Oh. Nope. Wanna get out? Encountered this problem last time, too. Uh, what is the get out feature? Nope. Currently I'm swapping seats around. Nope. Don't want to sit there. Don't want to sit there. Alrighty, one sec. Alrighty, so that's one complaint I have right there, is that they're not very easy to get in or out of. But other than that, they, they are really cool. Of course, they have a whole civilian line. The NASCARs, which are really fast and cool. Civilian line. Their own customized... Uh, flat cannons and which is really cool because with the weapons pack there also comes these weapons like the colonial blaster the rebel blaster which is this one hmm. should get that chunk to load there we go da -da -da. <laughs> Columns of pure fire and destruction rain. Well, that's pretty cool. And these are all the custom weapons. I believe you can also put these on the aircraft. Sort of like the brownie. But I'm not too sure. Another cool thing that the Manus guys have added in their content pack is their own bombs, which are really cool. However, we are not going to launch the nuke because it's destructive, nor the fire bombs because I don't feel it, feel like it. We're just going to grab a whole crap load of the small bombs. And then, grab a bomber, such as the Lancaster, some fuel for it. Just going to put this baby down and get in her. show you why those small bombs are awesome. Since they're in stacks of 20, you can just kind of spam bombs like this. There we go. You can slow down more. <laughs> just doing an awesome bombing run on your enemy's base. Just cut a big hump through it. Pretty cool. I would fire the nuke, but I find it tends to lag a bit much. Now, what else did I have to show you? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm 
actually not sure what else I had to show you. Well, in that event then, whoop, wrong button. Wait, in that event then, I'll just let you guys off on a closing note that the guys at Minus did a great job, even though there is a few bugs. Yeah, that's what I meant to mention. I meant to mention the bugs. Like, uh, the textures have been redone for some of the stuff, so building a plane can be confusing. Like, this is actually a bomb bay and a metal tail, and this is actually a rotary engine. Uh, that, like, it, don't follow the image, follow the name, because when you go to craft something and you want a V8 engine, you actually have to grab this. Which can get a bit confusing, but considering the amount of parts they had to add for the civilian and other mods, um, t I mean, content packs, you know, they did a pr pretty good job. I have no idea what that's for. Um, what else did I have to say? Uh, there's some other bug I want to report. Oh yes, I know what it was. Oh yes, here we go. So here is a TIE Interceptor, right? And I can add this, the Cylon Blasters, which are the mounted gun I showed you earlier. And I can still craft it. So if I'm correct, this thing should have Cylon Blasters. The only thing is, is when I go to place it, I get a game crash. See? Yeah, it crashed. I'm going to have to just uh, send in an error report with that. But even though there is a few bugs, the guys at Manus did a great job on this texture pack, and you should download it and enjoy it. It's really fun to play with. And until the next time, don't die.